me, it's when the shopping lists come into my head. I'm, I'm trying to pray and suddenly the washing machine goes on spin and someone knocks on the door and I think that's when sin just comes in and just takes away all those lovely thoughts of Jesus. And it's just a real life creeping into our spiritual life and it happens so much. And the important thing is getting rid of that, getting rid of the outside world, the, the sin, and just focusing on Jesus. Wow. Sometimes, obviously, so sometimes we can realise that our sins are selfish and all about what we want and what we think we need. But sometimes it can be a little bit more creepy in that sometimes God gives you a gift, so it could be a person or a thing or a promise, that you know is from God but over time as you pray about it you realise that you focus too much on that thing and that you sort of forget about God and go off playing with the gift on your own a bit like a, a toy you kind of forget who who's given you the gift and who's given you the toy and you realise after a while it usually takes a while to realise that all your prayer and all your focus has been on the gift rather than on God so it's, I just think it's important to really to remember to always be praying to God and seeking God's will and not even not let even his gifts which can be from God distract us from God um, I think for me that sin can creep into our prayers um, or my prayers by making uh, the prayers all about me so all about my life the things I'm struggling with um, the things that I want um, they come really um, uh, kind of yeah, they come all about me and not about anyone else. So I forget to pray for other people. I forget to pray for my heart for other people. And I forget to pray um, about um, kind of God's wider world. Well, I think there are quite a few ways that sin can wheedle its way into our prayer lives, you know. One is that we need to be honest with God in our prayers. We should always tell him how we feel about stuff and not try and hide not try and wrap ourselves up so we appear better than we actually might really be. We also should always be, should never be selfish in our prayers. We need not to think about just ourselves and things that we want, or things that we think that we need. And the third thing, it's easy just to gabble on and talk to God all the time. And I think it's really important to find space to sit and listen and wait for him to speak to us when we're praying.